Okay, um, so we're gonna try this again. Um, the video that I did shoot, um, I don't know, something happened, didn't work out. So, um, whatever. I didn't want to shortchange it, and I, you know, I, I meant it. So I'm gonna refilm this. Um, okay, so basically what we're looking at here is just finding the white. Okay, so super easy. And then we want to uh, surround it with four white corners. Um, I already see that there's a white corner here, here, and here. Okay. Um, let's see if this works out. Yeah, okay, so um, whites with greens with orange and so if these three are correct, um, then the last one um, You just simply just keep turning this until the white shows up and, ha and by default it has to be correct. Okay, so here we are Okay, so again um, If the red um, oh man, yeah, there it is. So this is the red side. If the red wasn't here, okay, if it was anywhere else, um, then you would have to move it to the bottom, unless it was already on the bottom, all right? So, for example, if it was here, then you'd have to sledgehammer it down here, or if it was here, you'd sledgehammer it here, or if it was here, you sledgehammer it here. And of course, if it's already on the bottom, then sledgehammer it into the position that it's supposed to be in. All right, so... Um, the next thing that we need to do is look around the cube and see if anything else is correct. All right, so we have a yellow to the left, we have a green to the right, um, oranges in the back, and blues on the bottom. So I know that if I switch the bottom and the back pieces, these two pieces, I know that this piece and this piece, the one on the left and right, will switch. So because we want green on the left, um, I'm going to switch so see this green right here right now it's on the right if I switch these two then this green will go on to go to the left so that's exactly how I want to get the green to the left is I want to you know I'm not going to directly place it from here to there what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch these two the ones that are on the bottom and the back so let's go ahead and sledgehammer down down up up okay let's go back to the white with the white on top red facing us the green is now on the left all right um but these pieces this one this one and this one okay need to be rotated now this is the trippy the tricky part right and again if you just look at the cube right here nothing else was affected so far right we still have all the whites here and um these are still reds these are still greens still orange and still blue right so just go ahead and um skew those a little bit um get the cube you know unlocked just give it a little wiggle all right um, and what we're looking to do is we're going to take this blue and we're going to put it right here. Okay. And so all you're going to do is just simply take it and turn that in. Okay. But by doing that, I rotated, um, this white piece out of the way. It was up here. It's now down there. So what I need to do is, um, rotate, um, Let's get this all back lined up again rotate this piece okay put it back where it belongs and then rotate this back okay now if you look at the uh, white pieces again okay you're going to notice that the red went down to the bottom it was right there it went right down here okay that's perfectly normal just go ahead and skew these again Replace the red by sledgehammering it into its correct position. Down, down, up, up. Okay. Now, if you look at the cube, you have white on top, red facing you. Blue is on the left. Green is on the right. Okay. What does that tell you? That tells you that if you switch these two pieces, the bottom piece and the back piece, not only will these two pieces switch, but this piece and this piece will also switch. Okay, and that's going to get you to where you want to be. So go ahead and switch these two pieces. Sledgehammer, down, down, up, up, and the cube's going to be um, solved. All right, well, at least this portion of the cube's going to be solved. Okay, let's just uh, rotate everything color coordinated, and there we go. Okay, so with white on top, red facing us, green on the left, blue on the right, orange on the back. And yellow on the bottom okay and uh, it's as simple as that remember if you rotate something you must rotate it back the fact that these things are skewed are gonna throw you off um, you know 
as far as spatial orientation, it's going to throw you off. But you got to do the best you can to ignore the fact that these pieces here are rotated. They're just simply rotated um, to allow you to move the cube. And, um, you know, another, you know, part of that is it just throws, it just mentally throws you off, right? Okay, so welcome back. This is part number two. Um, in this part, we're just going to go ahead and finish off all the corners. And to do that, um, what we're going to have to do is, um, again, rotate all these corner pieces so that um, we can unlock the cube by gently just doing that. Let's give it a little wiggle. Okay, so um, the first thing we need to do is just, well, maybe we'll, we'll start with this because I, just, I already see that these two here are matched up. Um, but basically, all you gotta do is take pieces from, like, say, over here and bring them over here. Um, okay, for, like, for example, I'm gonna turn this white green, it's, you know, over here. Okay, so see how, um, the piece that's next to the white green moves. Okay, well, I'm gonna move this all the way over here so I can rotate this white green and when I rotate back you see how it matches up right there okay so um, these two pieces are complete we're gonna need, we're gonna need a um, green uh, green red piece to go right there so let's see if we can find a green red piece to fit in right there um, now you notice that it's very close it's, it's right next door here right so I'm, I'm not going to be able to use this piece to put it here because um, the pieces that are say over here would be compatible with going over here because I just can't go like this to switch these two I would have to bring a piece over here you know like say this one and then bring that back okay so this piece is too close for me to use um, so I'm going to have to find another one, another white green piece. So if I just look around a little bit, I'll be able to locate it. Okay. So white green, there's a white green right here. Um, so this is the original white green we we're looking at, but instead we decided that we have to use this one. So let's put this in a position where, let's just put this over here. So I can... Um, take this piece that's right here next to this um, um, red green right and I can bring it over here and replace it with this red green and then when I slide it back all of these now match okay cool let's uh, move on to the next one um, let's say uh, white blue there's a white blue right there right so let's move this out of the way that white blue is out of the way I'm gonna take this piece that's next to this white blue and I'm gonna rotate it into this position rotate that white blue and see how it just slides right in very easy okay um, how about um, well let's see I mean we don't have to stick with the white blue you know we don't have to stick with this I mean we, we you can if you like but you know I just kind of you know whatever I see that's available like this um, white green over here I'll, I'll stick it right there so let's take this piece we'll say we'll put it in this position take the white green and then rotate it back okay um, let's see what else I can find how about how about doing it this way where I take um, this yellow green or um, orange green and this time how about I rotate the orange green in move this out of the way and this time I'll move this one back okay so I mean you know you can do it either way um, how about white orange Is there a white orange that I can use. This white orange is too close. Um, excuse me. Okay. How about this white orange, right? No. 
Nope, not that one. Um, hmm. I mean, sometimes it takes a little while to, because there's so many pieces here, you know. Um, okay, how about this one? Let's forget the white orange. Let's go with the white red, all right? So there's a white red in need over here. And this time, let's do a double bubble kind of deal where, let me turn this so that when I turn this yellow orange into this area right here, I will pick up, I'll match those. And then when I turn this one in, I'm gonna take this white red and turn that back. Okay, so that was a two for one. All right, so I hope that one made up for uh, the other one that I was looking for. Okay. Um, now, this this time I can take this blue orange, right? Pop that into there, rotate, um, a, you know, a dummy piece back into this one, in the, to this spot. Okay, so maybe um, a yellow, um, blue. All right, can I find a yellow blue? There is a yellow blue right here. It's available. However, if I put this yellow blue into this spot, well, I have to rotate back. And remember, this piece and this piece are already um, taken, so that's not really going to work for me so well. But what I can do is let's just get rid of one of these pieces. Let's just temporarily knock out a good piece this is a good piece right here let's just temporarily knock that out and we'll replace it with a good piece here okay um sometimes you have to do that you know i mean you don't have to i mean I, i'm sure if i just looked around the cube a little bit more i could find um something you know more suitable but that's just what i you know happen to have offhand okay so how about um taking this red blue and putting it over here and this time I'll do it with a double bubble because I'm going to take this uh, red green and I will stick it right in there matching up this red green okay so let's go ahead and do that and remember be careful when you're doing this because you know you don't want to pop these pieces out here's that red green rotate this and replace it with um, this red blue okay so Red, white, and blue is completely fixed, 100%. That one's completely fixed, 100%. Um, okay, and, um, oh, okay, how about this one? This yellow, blue, if I rotate that, pick up this yellow, blue, rotate back okay and that didn't affect this piece either um yellow red there's a yellow red right there so we're gonna rotate this so that we'll just put this piece in there rotate this back yellow red okay so it's really starting to come together now um this corner's com complete this corner is complete this corner is complete and what we want, what I really want to do is just complete one set of corners. You know, it doesn't matter if there are two yellows and two, you know, like, you know, this one is all yellow. Uh, this one's all yellow. This one's all white. And this one's going to be all white. So it doesn't matter if they're yellows or whites or what combination of each they are. Um, you just want to get, you know, four of them done on the same side okay um, here we can yeah do a double bubble where we're gonna take this white blue and we're gonna put it right there we are then gonna replace this white blue with this green yellow so when we rotate back well, well, that didn't work out so well, but I mean, you get the point here. Um, we'd have to bring that back, rotate this, and then rotate back. 
and then that would be complete right there as well. Okay, um, let's do uh, another one. Um, do, do, do. Let's see. Just trying to find a good one. All right. Well, we're just going to knock this one out of the way. Replace it with this. Okay. So complete, complete, complete. Still getting there. Rotate this. Rotate that. Rotate back. Okay. So let's have another look. Complete, 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 complete. Okay, so that's just the top. One, this, these, two, these four. One, two, three, four are complete. Let's flip it upside down, and we're gonna start working on these. Okay, that one's complete. Um, this one here, we can swap this one with this. Okay, that completes that one and this one completes this one and uh well that's just like that you know there you go it's solved so i hope that made sense for you um yeah i don't know that's it that, that was uh about as simple simple as i can make it you know it's just swapping one piece for another there's not going to be any kind of parity anywhere uh, so rest assured about that and uh, you know it, you might have ended up where you have um, incorrect piece here here and here right where uh, you know this one they would all have to be rotated but you know, you just keep switching it out with another piece you know one for one and eventually it will work itself back out there's no parity at all um, with this cube uh, as far as placing these um, remainder, uh, these small pieces in. Um, okay, so that's it. Um, thanks a lot. We'll see you next time on uh, Barry QB 101. Thanks. Bye.